Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jack Attack 45, and today we have You Don't Know Jack episode number 7. I'm counting just to make sure that's 7. Yes, it is. Awesome. But uh, guys, this week I am going off to EA Canada, and I uh, want to talk about that a little bit. But before I get into that, I want to make sure to let you guys know I'm going to have a poll on my Facebook for players you want to see me do a play review on. Ever since I posted that uh, Silver Inform Vest Hay review, a lot of you guys have been giving me some great suggestions, and I actually uh, borrowed a man of the match, Gerard, yesterday. Steven Gerard, he scored some crazy long shots for me, so that'll be coming out here in the near future. But I'm going to start an open poll over on my Facebook. I'll be leaving it down in the description below. And you guys can go and vote on that. The highest rated player will obviously get reviewed, and then we can start all it all again when we do another one. So I figured that would probably be the best way to uh, get you guys involved. I want to review players that you guys want to see me review, and I know that Silver Inform Vaste was just too tempting with 90, 91 shooting on a Silver player. Also probably going to be reviewing Inform Dost. I hope that's how you say his name with his 94 shot or something like that. Something crazy. But uh, So go check out the Facebook. That is where you guys can go get involved in the polls and you can get your suggestions on my Facebook so I'll know which ones you guys want to see. Go thumbs them up. If there's already one that you see that's been suggested, I'll put a few up there. Uh, I'll open the poll to everybody though so you guys can go over there and vote slash add some players that you want to see. The other thing that is big that I want to talk about today is obviously EA Canada. I have some good suggestions from you guys on the last video. I did ask for a few suggestions to bring up there. Uh, the first, well, I have a, a little list here. Uh, the things I have on my list so far are uh, improving the Ultimate Team filters. The KS, KKS guy uh, from a week ago, he's got eight thumbs up on his comments. I'll put that up in there somewhere up here, I think. I'm getting used to the backwards thing on the camera. I don't know. Up in the corner somewhere. Uh, improved ultimate team filters uh, hopefully they can add some filters for informs managers player names would be really good because there is some players that are even if you search by their position their nationality their price uh, one I can think of is Tevez and Aguero you can't really figure out which one is which based on their price uh, another one is uh, if you search position based on Messi and Mascherano, a lot of people try to convert Mascherano into a striker to try to get people to buy them. So that would make it a really easy just being able to search by Messi. His second inform is his first inform, his third inform, stuff like that. That would be really helpful. So thank you, KKS guy, for mentioning that on the last video. Another one is a third kit option. Uh, I've had a couple people suggest that to me. And I think that would be kind of cool just to have an extra kit that you could choose from because there are some times when the kits you have are exactly the same as a player or all four of your kits look basically the same. Your two and their two look pretty much the same so it's kind of hard to tell. So that would be nice to have a third kit. Another thing that was mentioned by Inspired by You, 54 thumbs up so a pretty popular comment is in ultimate team players chemistry should increase with more games you play allowing your ultimate team so basically as you play with them more and more they do improve chemistry those orange go to orange lines go to green and I think that would be really cool I don't know exactly how they would implement that maybe all your players start with a certain amount of chemistry based on position and formation maybe five or six chem and they can eventually move up to nine if they play a certain amount of games together that would reward people who make teams and then stick with them so I think that would be kinda cool uh, I definitely have that on my list and then the other part of his comment was if you leave them in the team for like six hours their fitness should regenerate uh, that would be good I don't know if uh, the time maybe it, it depends on the time because a lot of people could just leave them and then they would never have to buy fitness cards I don't know they'd have to figure that out by themselves but uh, that's two good suggestions there the other suggestion from Mick McFoy, I think that's how you say it, McFoy1, we want wager matches, wager matches would be a lot of fun, throw your coins up on the line against somebody, play them, um, you know, have a different game mode in Ultimate Team, definitely going to be asking about that, see what they think about wager matches, uh, if you guys have any other suggestions that you would like to see in, you know, coming up in FIFA, 
maybe ultimate team improvements or anything like that make sure to leave them down below uh, a lot of stuff with the servers a lot of comments about the servers too I'll you know I mean the servers are gonna be the servers if they improve them I'm I'm guessing they will hopefully they will you know no loading screen glitch or anything like that but uh, yeah that should be good make sure to leave more suggestions down below I'll improve my list I only have let's see six things on there right now but uh, a lot of those things are things that I think they should definitely implement they're pretty solid ideas so the final thing I want to talk about is from there's a comment last week sparky jc10 and I'll put his comment once again up here you should have an intro competition so lots of people make intros for you and then show the best ones and we decide which one we think suits you best now a lot of people like my intro a lot of people don't it's basically based on your music taste and how much you think it fits me so if you would like to see an intro competition I could definitely do that have a you know few hundred thousand coins on the line pick my best I don't know top three or four and you guys can decide the winner for a couple hundred thousand coins I think that would be a good time uh, let me know if you'd like to see that down below but guys make sure to go check out the Facebook I will have the polls open for uh, the player reviews I I just forget what I'm talking about in a five minute commentary I don't know why but go check that out we'll have the player review polls and we'll also have you can also leave suggestions for what you want me to bring up to EA to EA Canada this week coming this week so you can leave both there and uh, you know have some polls have some fun stuff over there and I do respond to the comments over there as well so make sure to leave your comments down below what you want to see and you don't know Jack episode number eight that'll probably be after Canada after EA Canada and of course I'm gonna be video logging got my phone with my 1080p HD recording so it's good to go guys we're ready to go getting ready to go to EA Canada guys I hope you did enjoy you don't know Jack episode number seven leave your suggestions down below this has been Jack Attack 45 signing out peace